If you watch Mere Minutes, my other show, you may remember a few weeks ago when I got this from Donald Schlitt. It's a pencil holder, and while it may just look like a block with holes in it, <laughs> this has turned out to be one of the most useful things in my shop. And the reason why is because this solves a problem that I always have in my shop, finding a pencil. And of course I have places where I keep pencils, but they also store pens. This thing has holes that only hold pencils. <laughs> I can't put any pens in there, so it's very easy for me to find a pencil when I need one. In last week's Mirror Mini, I talked about my drill press, so if you just got one, this might be a perfect project to start with. I've got this old three and a half by three and a half fence post that I'm gonna lay out a little bit differently than Donald's. I'm gonna go with four by four. I'll start by measuring out a grid. I'm punching a small hole into each of these intersections using an awl. It's a good way to get the drill bit started so it doesn't wander. I'm putting a 5 16 inch drill bit into my chuck. And I need to lower the table. I'm gonna make the depth of each of those holes about half of that block. So right about there I can set my depth stop. Now it'll stop there on each hole. I've got this set to about half speed, 1200 RPM. The only other modification I'm going to make is I'm going to put some countersinks on each of these holes and that'll just help guide the pencils in a little bit easier. This is a countersink. You don't use it for drilling holes, you just use it for flaring out the tops. I'll chuck it up just like a regular bit. And again, I'm going to set my depth stop to right about at this shoulder. Well, thanks again, Donald, for the idea for the pencil holder. Have you guys ever made anything that was just absurdly simple yet very useful? <laughs> Leave a comment down below.